Shanika is nonverbal because she has both Down syndrome and autism. And music's been one of her main ways of relating to people for her entire life. I find that a lot of people have a really narrow idea of what accessible means. They think it's just wheelchair ramps and, and that's super important to us. But it's also a lot about people's attitudes and about making things financially accessible and, and just making people feel welcome to, to come as you are and be yourself. PJ likes to play the what do you play? The cello. The cello. We think it's extraordinary that the Minnesota Orchestra would have a sensory friendly concert. Just think about it. We can't bring our kids that might have special needs in the sensory realm that wouldn't fit into a regular concert for you know other concert goers to enjoy it. So they never go. They never get to see it. But to feel that music live, that's that's not only a memory maker, but to feel a part of that community. And from one concert, so much can can grow.